Hello guys, uh, this is DFXS. Once again, welcome to GFX family. I'm glad and I believe that uh, you are doing good, guys. Uh, today, we are going to learn some basics, uh, the, the important basics in our TFX drinkings. And uh, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm going to make this video short and I just want to cover the old strategies that are there in our drinkings uh, Renko system. And uh, I'm going to cover them uh two strategies in uh, in every video to make a video short and to make people understand and i'm going to cover everything that you are uh, is needed if, uh, and uh, everything that you can any settings that you can set the settings that you can change blah 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 to those uh strategies so that you get full understanding i believe in these two videos for strategy one and two three and four guys you'll be done with uh, everything that is required. And uh, because the system is very perfect, the system is good, and the system is very, very easy, both manual and robot. So if you will be trading also manual, it is good to understand or to see what I'm doing because it is the same thing you can do it manually. Uh, and uh, it is the same thing also you can set to your EA so that the robot can work on your behalf. The only thing you need it is to follow this video and let us go direct. We will start in uh, step one of creating the Renko chart. Uh, let us uh, insert even if it is uh, three uh, or four, four charts here. And uh, let's go straight and start uh, creating Renko chart. This is uh, Renko version one. I believe those have the system, you already have it. We said after doing that, you can save that template to any name you can rename, or you can just replace one of these uh, default setting, uh, default templates. Then go to file, uh, open offline, search for uh, AUD card, minute two. Let us create that. Uh, the strategy one, it is for the three kings, and I believe uh, those of have the robot to contain everything. The strategy two, it is uh, the super dam and the uh, three kings plus ATM. Let us create that one to another one. Let's use uh, AUD. We saved our Renko file here. Then go to open file, search for Euro GPY minute two. I think I can use only those two, the, our strategy. To, it is for the super dam, which is our, uh, yeah, the super dam and the three kings. So, guys, we can delete this one. Let us do, let us use only those two. Uh, so, something to keep in mind after creating Renko chart, like this one, we have AUD card and uh, Euro JPY. Make sure that this plain chart, we, with, which contains this. Uh, TFX Renko file, they, are, they remain there with uh, this Renko. In case of anything, you find that uh, the chat is there, but it doesn't have this uh, uh, Renko file, make sure you can replace it with the, folder, uh, with the template that you saved. So there is no problem, uh, but you are supposed to make sure that this template uh, or uh, uh, the, the, this, uh, you have the chat which the plain chart would contain the Renko file. So keep that in mind so that uh, the, the other one like this one, it will be operating smoothly. So if we don't, if we have the offline AUD card and we don't have the plain chart which contains the Renko file, then it will not function correctly or it will not even function. You know, you'll never see any of the movement. So remember always to keep every chart of the every offline chart that you create. Thank you, I believe that you understand. So the next thing now, because let's uh, start with this one, uh, AUD, uh, AUD card, it's the one contain uh, the strategy one. This is the strategy one, which is the three kings and ATM. What is three kings ATM? This is our three kings. This one are our three kings. And this one is our trading master, which in short, we. Uh, we rename TM. So this is our trading master and this is uh, uh, three kings. So this means that the strategy ones only work with the three kings and the trading master only two. And the entry point is every king and the changing, uh, the changing color of our trading master 
this is where you you take the trade either manually or this is where the robot should take the trade and it's supposed to close the trade or to exit from the market after the appearance of another king then after there it will wait for another entry which is this one then it will take a sell until where it will find another king then it will exit and wait for a buy it will wait for a buy so remember uh, the entry is uh, is the king and uh, and the trading master the changing color of the trading master and exit it is a uh, appearance of another three king uh, one of the king and if it will uh, again change the color dropping then it will still sell that is strategy one are using the three kings strategy that is the strategy one keep that in mind now that is what uh the strategy one that is how it works now there is some stuff here that you can change number one there is people who would uh they will want like to, to trade something like this one this uh this trading master it's adjustable you can take it even to period 10 that is uh, the, the, uh, for those people who want after all consolidation, when the market declares to take the direction of that area or, or the direction of that market, that is when this, uh, uh, you, you enter the trade. But if you use the period two, for instance, or period three, uh, as you can see, there was an entry here, but the market reversed to this point. And again, the market continue uh, going up. So for those people who don't like uh, when the market is consolidating, you want only, maybe you, want, you don't want to do some scalping here. And remember, this is more than a scalping because it can take two days only from this place to this place. For those people who, who have uh, seen our previous video, you can understand what I'm saying, but I'm not going to cover that. So now, if you want to avoid all consolidation, it is good to put uh, the, the TM into period 10. So now we have started changing the settings. Uh, this is to show you the setting that you can change until you get the right setting that uh, will favor you. Now, if you don't want the scalping and you want to trade after all consolidation, then put into period 10. As you can see, the entry was here and the entry was here, the entry was here until this place now the setting number one that you're supposed to keep in mind if you change the trading master into 10 period make sure even in your robot you change you put the same period here so if we have set that into 10 period make sure you set this one into 10 master period put it into 10. this one short long and main this one it's for the three kings so you can change even the setting of the three kings keep that in mind because sometimes let me see if uh, i can see somewhere yeah sometimes like here you may want to avoid all these all these uh, short uh, short trades so that's where you need to go to settings and maybe let's say for instance you can change the, this setting the first shot if let's say for instance, if I put there 40, make sure the long trade, it will be the double setting of the short trade. So the long trade, we can select uh, 80. That's what you are supposed to do. For the main trade, uh, this is for the long, long trade all when you want to know the direction of the market, you can change here any of the biggest number that you want in order to see the clear of uh, direction of the market but that doesn't matter when it comes into Renko so if you uh, are into Renko the 180 it's enough but for this one you can change for the short trade and long trade to avoid some short trades that are there or if you want to be sure when the market is now confirmed either bullish or bearish so if I set like th that one we set 8 and 10 this is what you can trade you can only trade from this price as you can see, there, uh, there, is, no, uh, there is no longer uh, a king here and it was here and here. Now we can only trade from this place to this place, from this place to this place, from this place to this place. And if it happens you have changed settings like that one, remember also to change that into, uh, into, into robot. So 
There you can change now. We see that one is a short, it's a short trade is for 40 period and uh, the long trade is for the 80. And our M, uh, our trading master, it is at period 10. Then after there, remember you are supposed now to save that one. Let's see now, save that template, which contains the, the, the robot then said uh, it is the breaking strategy so we can replace that template. So this means that that template now, I, if I place like this one now, I'm working with the Euro JPY, if I place now the three kings, it will come with the exact settings that we set and save uh, that template with. So as you can see now, uh, as from there now, uh, that is what you can be trading with, Guys, you can see after every confirmation, after all of consolidation, this is where the robot or you are supposed to be taking trades after to avoid all this consolidation when the market is clear now to drop. There is no doubt after doing that, when the market will come from that place, it will never uh, reverse to uh, and continue going up. It will continue dropping after all that consolidation. So take that period 10 as a setting of clearance when you want to be clear that you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want maybe market to repaint, you know, the, it can be a sell, all of a sudden something happened and the market continue uh, maybe going up. So it is good to be clear that the setting is there. That is for the people who want to trade the long trade, but for the short trade, you can use period three and two. Now let's go for another setting in our robot so that you can understand everything. I think that we have covered that. Now let us go uh, to another important setting. Let's say for instance, you found that uh, there is an entry here and maybe you are late when you are loading the, uh, the chart and maybe you see it's uh, the, the the entry maybe happened some few minutes ago and you want to enter that trade, you, you can use the trigger entry. When you use the trigger entry and you want to sell that market, let's say for instance, there is a sell here, you trigger sell. So if I trigger sell, this market will sell automatically and the robot will take charge from there. And remember, after the robot has taken that trade, go back to your robot and and select now from trigger cell into select trigger so that there is no any option that now is uh, there because already the trade was activated. And again, you can save that. Uh, you, can, you can go back to your default setting without the trigger entry. It's because if you don't do that, it will only sell cell because it can, uh, it will only notice that uh, there is a, a trigger cell. So even if there is a buy, it will still continue trigger, 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 sell. So avoid that after triggering the sell all buy, uh, go back to your settings and deactivate uh, the trigger. Now, the other important setting, the next one, it's a reverse condition. The reverse condition, it's very, uh, it's an important setting that you, you are supposed to keep in mind because this one, it will help you a lot. There is a lot of indicators, or let's say for instance, if the three kings can repaint, or our trading master can, you can see in a certain pair, not all pairs, there is some pairs that they, they misbehave. This is why you find there is some people or traders that select uh, the specific pairs that they work with, the specific pairs that they know the character of the pair, they know the, the, the condition or how it behaves. They learn one pair after the other and you'll find them they only work with three or two or even one pair, they doesn't need to, uh, they doesn't, they have nothing to do with other pairs except the pair that they learn. Now, that's not a problem when it comes to TFX or Renko system. If you find that you, 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 you got a pair that misbehave like that one, that is when you use the trigger, the trigger, uh, the, the, the reverse condition. Why? Because those pairs, when they say it sell, they always buy. When they say sell, they always buy. When they say buy, they sell. 
so if you find those pairs that is when you need to uh, that is when you know the importance of reverse condition because if i set the reverse condition into true so whenever the robot will notice that there is a buy instead of triggering buy it will trigger sell this is why i've been saying there is no way that this system can never work why because having the trigger say uh, the the reverse condition all you need it is to understand the behavior and the character of a pair so that you can understand you know many people don't like to give themselves time to learn the behavior of a pair and this is why you just jump and look only for entry you just look for entry guys it doesn't work like that when it comes into forex market for instance in our channel group there in our telegram we shared the the pairs that are suitable to this system or to our rank that the pairs that trades good but that doesn't mean you are not supposed to do your own analysis to see the behaviors of that pair in the rank system so after there there is no doubt you will understand how many pips you need to play with that uh, or the target that you'll be targeting how many targets of the pips that you will be targeting in that pair and will you be working the same direction or will you be using uh, the reverse condition so giving yourself time i've been telling people forex should be a lifetime job a lifetime job that you never ever want to be employed or to do anything so all you need it is to get rid or to understand the system and to follow the instruction of the system then from there you are good to go now i'm covering this because in strategy two we are not going to cover all this so you need to understand they all work in all strategies so keep in mind this one so that you can understand how it works or how to set in all strategies so the only thing you need to understand or to to keep in mind it is the setting you can change and how they work now let's continue so we know now the work of reverse condition so reverse condition it's always trigger the entry against the market so if the market saying sell uh, if the system says sell it will trigger uh, buy that is according to the behaviors of the pair. That's why the system is so perfect and good. Now, let us go to another important setting. Here we have uh, a pips entry. What is the meaning of pips entry? The pips entry means if I select pips entry into zero, this means that the robot can take the trade buy and after closing that buy, it can uh, resume to the market immediately because our uh, pips entry it is set into zero so to avoid that because we want every when the robot pulls the market we want the robot to uh to sleep or to, to until it get another fresh or new entry so that's why uh the trigger entry is very important you can set the trigger entry of the number you want from 100 5000 blah 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 that is up to you but if you want to the robot to resume the market after taking the first profit then you can put trigger uh, pips entry into uh into zero the other important setting it's a bar loop back what is the importance of this one you will learn in strategy two not in this strategy one this one we we'll learn in strategy two because that's where we can give a good example about the the bar look back now let's continue the most another the important trade it is this one there is a long trade here if i set a long trade into true if i set long trade into true it means that the robot will only be trading this king this red one and the white one it won't trade the small the small king let me show you it won't trade this one it will only pick the trades whenever there is uh this big arrows or this red arrow or green arrow or white arrows because those it's what they mean by long trade so let's proceed now so if i set into false where is this long trade if I set into false, it will, it will trade any of the kings that will appear, whether it is a small king 
whether it is the red one, whether it is the white one, whether it is the green, it will trade all kings. But if you trade, or you set it into false, uh, into true, it means that it will be only trading for the uh, kings of long trade, the kings that trade the long trade, not the short trade. And the long trade are this one, not the small one. Let's proceed here. We understand that this is our trading master. If you set here 10, make sure you set there. And this one are the setting of our kings. The other thing, it is the, um, where are we? we are here now. The other thing, it's lot multiplier. What is the meaning of the multi, uh, lot multiplier? Let me show you something here. If I set now here, let's say the uh, number one. If I set one there, it will be working only, it will be multiplying the lot size that is here by only one, not by two. And that one must work with the max trade. So if I set here, for instance, if I set here the max trade of three, it means that the robot will take three trades. And the gap of that, let me mix that one so that you can understand. It works with the max trade. And the distance that you'll give from first position to the next position, it will be for 20 pips. But the second position, because in a lot multiply here, we select into two, it means that it will multiply this lot size by two. Keep that in mind. So if I'm playing with 0 0.01 and I select here uh, the max trade for three, the meaning of max trade, it is the trades that you want the robot to pick if the market continues going in, the, uh, in your favor. So let's say it's a bullish here and I have selected the max trade of five. This means that the robot will place five orders with the distance or the gap of 20 pips. So in every, after 20 pips, if the market continue going, uh, going in your favor, the robot will place an uh, order. In every other 20 pips, the robot will place another order. In every other 20 pips, the robot will place another order until all positions are five positions. That is the meaning of max trade. And every lot size or every entry or every position, it will be multiplied by two because the lot multiply you selected by two. It will be multiplied by two. And the other thing you need to understand here, it is here. If I select, this is the, almost the same multiplier here and here. But if I select here, let's say for instance, uh, uh, zero, 0.6. If I select there 0.6. So if I select here, say, uh, let's say, let's, uh, the, le, this one, it's good for this one to remain uh, one because there is an important setting for it here. Because if I select here two, it will multiply this one by two or in every position, it will be multiplied by two. So the second position, it will be 0 0.02. The second, uh, the uh, third position, it will be 0 0.02 by two. So that it will be zero by uh, 0 0.04. Then the fourth, is it the third or fourth? The fourth one, it will be also that 0 0.04 by two. You see, so the fourth one, it will be 0 0.08. So that's when I, uh, I, if I select the lot multiply by two. But if I select here one and select here 0 0.06, this means that the second position and my first position is 0 0.01. It will multiply 0 0.01 by 0 0.6. So the answer is what? the robot will place the position. So it is not the same as with this one. This one will continue multiplying by two, but this one, it will multiply by what you select here. So the second position, it will be multiplied by 0 0.01. And the number that will be there, it will be also multiplied by 0 0.06, 0 0.6, sorry, 0 0.6. So, but if I select here, Again, if I select here 1.6, it means that the second position, 
it will be multiplied by 1.6. So it's 0 0.01 by, uh, by, uh, by 1.6. So the, calculate, the robot will calculate those for you and it will place those older automatically. So it's very important to understand why it should be like there or why it should remain 0 0.06 if you don't want the, the big load size, let it remain 0 0.06. You can put there uh, 0 0.03. You can do that in your demo account and see if that's what you will wish to, if you want to trade with a max trade or if you want to trade with multiple position. And I believe now you are getting something there. Now let's drop, drop, drop. Where are we now? We are, we were here in this, uh, uh, multiply what is another important thing the another one it's account profit target if i activate here into true and select here let's say like a hundred or a thousand dollars this means that the total amount that will be here the total amount of the profit that will be here if they get to a hundred dollars it doesn't matter if it will be like 10 pairs if you, let's say you are working with 10 pairs and all pairs are activated, when you're getting the profit of 100 pips here, uh, $100 here, the robot will close all position, all position in every chart and wait for fresh entry. Keep that in mind. So when you activate a, a account profit target and let's say you select there like $50, it tells you the whole total of the account profit that will be there. Doesn't matter whether it will be uh, like a uh, position from different uh, charts, but the total profit here, it's $50. The robot will close all position from all charts and wait for fresh, uh, fresh signal or new signal. Then from there, uh, this one is not that important, but let me say about it. You can, uh, this is a exit strategy. Uh, the robot can sleep for a while, then it can resume the market. It, it, you can select, it can sleep for long, but as long as uh, we have a pips entry and the, the robot is uh, coded that uh, it will be waiting for a fresh entry, that one is not, uh, uh, that one is not important. The next important, which one is important is this one, account drawdown. If I select account drawdown into true, and maybe uh, here, uh, if I select here like 100, this tells you when you are in a drawdown of $100, the robot will close all position and wait for fresh entry. So that is the meaning of account uh, drawdown. Let's go again for account target. Uh, the local target, this tells you, you can set for every pair. Let's say for instance, this is Euro JPY. And I, if there is a drawdown of 20, just $20, I would like the robot to close the Euro JPY automatically. Uh, automatically. Why do we do this? There is sometimes there is a lot, some uh, manipulation in the market. When they reach into your take profit, sometimes you find that they, they open the, the spread and they won't take the profit. But sometimes they, uh, when they get into your uh, stop loss, maybe they jump so that they can draw your account. That's why it's good to understand these settings so that you can protect your account. So for this local target, this means when uh, this work with every pair uh, or every chart, single chart, single chart, not the total of the uh, of the profit here, but for the single chart for the local target. But for this one, it's for the to, uh, the whole account. But this one local target is for the single chart. So in every single chart, you can you can set the drawdown that you want or the profit. If I set here even thirty, this means in every pair. If it is this one uh, AUD card, I, if I select the local target here, max order profit for thirty. $30, this means if AUD reach into $30, it will close automatically and wait for a new order. If I draw down the same thing, but this one for the local order loss or uh, max order profit, this tells you that it's work with uh, a single chat, but for account, that is for the account 
the another important setting here it's uh it is the a break even this one if you are for here for notification here if you want the the uh when the robot take trades to notify you you can activate this one and select whether it is email or blah 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 that one for another day but here we are looking for a more uh, the important setting the another important setting it's the break even if i set the break even guys if you set the break even into true and let's say for instance i set here 20 and here the way it is and here 15 this means that when i'm in the profit of 25 dollars this the robot will place the stop loss uh behind where the market is let's say uh it's a buy here and here let's say for instance let me draw something here this is our entry and uh from there to here that is 25 pips sorry 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 for, sorry for that And let's say that uh, from here to here, that is uh, our entry point. And from there to here, this is 25 pips. And uh, in our, let me put this one into a cocala or lime and say that, uh, no, let me put something that, you know, some people may not be seeing clear like me, you know. Now, our first red line, let's say, it's a entry point and the, here it's where the market is and where the market is let's change this color guys this is where the market is in our blue line so this means this is our entry point and where the market is at this moment uh we are already in 25 pips but here in our aqua color here this means that here it's where our 15 uh pips are so this means if the market goes into 25 pips and you have activated uh the the break even into true and 25 uh you said uh when to move to be here in 25 and when pips to move the stop loss into 15 this means that when you are in 25 it will place the stop loss behind where the market is with 20 uh, with 15 pips from our entry point so if the market can uh, uh, go against you it will hit our stop loss and secure the profit of 15 pips so this one it is for those people who love to protect account or to secure the some profit in case market goes against them or maybe if market changes the direction you can never be at loss and the other thing you can do there's people say no i don't want to maybe uh the market can reverse somehow like here and the market can continue going up and i don't want to miss all these pips but i still want to protect my account this is where i always say you can see if the market moves like 25 pips and you only want to, if anything happens and the market reverse and goes maybe against you instead of experiencing the drawdown it is good to select here like only one or two you can select here only one or two this means if this one is your entry and the market moves into 25 pips or 20 pips you can adjust the number then the market will place the stop loss at your entry point before you uh uh after your entry point with only one pips so or two pips this means if the market will reverse then it will hit you are stop loss but you 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 will not lose anything though you will not get anything and for those people who are using the period 10 that one can be very good because that is when the market is totally confirmed and it's not that easy for that market to reverse to that point so let's say for instance this is where the market because this is the truth this is where the market took the entry now let's say uh our stop loss was moved by break even into one pip so we were somewhere here so there is no way this market never came back the market continue going up so from there you are secured and you don't care you don't panic you'll wait until it uh, hit the profit or when the uh, or if the 
that king will appear or the king will appear, then it will close the treats. Those are very, very important settings, guys, that you need to understand. The other one here, it is this one, take profit. You can use the take profit, but for those people who are using the robot, you can set the take profit or you can uh, let the, the robot take the profit after the appearance of the, of the kings. So you can set any of the number of the profit that you want. You can adjust if you only need 50 pips in every entry, guys, you can set that. The other one is stop loss. You can, stay, you can change the number of the stop loss at any number you want. The other thing after working with something, uh, the robot severally, it is good sometimes when you come to Monday, maybe you are not in VPS, you want to change things. It's all good always to change uh, the magic number. If you have been working with the same magic number for long, it is good to change sometimes the magic number and remember to delete the global variable, which I will show you later. So guys, even if I will not uh, cover the setting in our next video of our next uh, hours third and fourth strategies. I just want you to keep those settings in mind. They are very important because you will always protect your account and you will never lose. You will never lose and you will be always protecting your account. Knowing how to set the break even, it's very, very, very important account target blah 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 those still are very very important and i do believe now everyone uh, uh by following this video you can rewind this video again and again so that you can get all those settings in your head and if maybe there's something you see that uh, you haven't understand clearly or haven't covered that thing guys don't hesitate to contact us so that we can cover because even this one we are doing this one for the request of the people, uh, those people requested if I can just cover only two strategy and give uh, clarification of all these settings. And I believe now you got it. Now, let's now close that one and go to strategy two because now I believe we are done with the setting. The strategy two, the strategy one we said, it, uh, it works only with the kings and, uh, and trade, uh, and trade master. So the every appearance of the uh, king, it will wait for the changing color of our trading master. And we saw how you can change the trading master. So let us go to our super zooms now here, where we are working with our super D here and the king and the trading master. So here the robot will only take the trades after the super D and the, uh, and the kings, super dem kings, and the changing color of the trading master. And the setting of the same, you can adjust this one to the number that you want. Let me say, you want to avoid any, and I'm repeating this, you want to avoid any of uh, maybe consolidation of or market when the market repaints more. As you can see here, let's say for instance, let's look for this one, guys. Let's reset it to two. As you can see here, there was a sale, for instance. This one is a good. Let's assume there is no this uh, super dim because uh, for our super D, let's say it's still a buy because there is no for resistant until it touches this place. But let's assume this one is here, we are in a resistance. You can see there was a sale, but after going some few pips, like 10 pips, because this one maybe contains like 10 pips, the market reverse now. And this market can continue going up. That is the behavior and that is normal. That is normal, guys. This is why I want you to understand this uh, in between scalping and doing some blah, 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 and to avoid all these things. But if I change this one, if we change this one into 10, into, 10, in, into period 10, our trading master, you can see it's still telling you that this market will continue going up, as you can see. So this means that if this market will drop now and continue uh, and start selling, because we already have the king here waiting and let's say, assume that our super day is here. So the confirmation will be cleared. It will be clear with every consolidation here. And as you know, one brick can take even one day or two days here. Here can take, can be uh, for several 
uh, days or hours. So what you need to do here, it is to add just this one to avoid any, because if you don't care about the, the repeat, let's say, let's say for instance, uh, what I was talking about, the reverse condition. If you see a behaviors like this one with period two, this is when you need to, to use a reverse condition because after reverse condition here, the market, instead of selling, it would have been buy. It will buy from that point and you'll be in a good profit of more than even 20 pips because we are in a, that um, a brick. So that's when you use the, uh, the reverse condition. But for this one, if you want to avoid all these things, you know, some people may ask, oh, these things, maybe is it repainting? Is it doing this? This is why I told you that these things is very perfect. You only need to understand the settings to play with them. And in one, two weeks, one month, my friend, you will have your setting that you will be milking market, even your children and your grandchildren all day with their milking market with the grandpa settings. <laughs> now, what you need to understand here, it is to play with those settings. As you can see now, there is no sale. And when there was a buy here, market never reversed. This is the best of the best thing with the Renko. The Renko is not like the candles jumping, jumping here and there. The only thing you need to know, it is to play with this setting. So playing with that SUPD and playing with the setting of that, uh, our trading master, let me tell you, it will never ever fails you because this is why I'm saying, even if you can say, oh, maybe the, the, the three kings is repainting. That's why the reverse condition is there to give you a solution. So for the strategy two, it works with the soup D king and the changing color of the MACD, uh, uh, not, not MACD, sorry, our trading master. And remember, you can also change these settings. You can also say, change the settings uh the setting of our ultimate or our three kings so you can set them and make sure that now you are targeting the very reliable and important area and from there now we are waiting for a, a resistant then when it will have a clear sell the market will sell guys i do believe now you have you got everything almost everything that you wanted to know. So guys, if you are using our TFX Renko system, whether it is manually or now with the, with the robot, guys, that is the simplest thing I can tell you. That is the settings that you need to understand. That is how you can add, add, adjust, adjust, feel free, adjust until you get satisfied. And I'm repeating this, if you want to have a clear entry without repainting, without blah, blah, whether manually or robot, change the trading master into period 10 and play the game of kings. From there, guys, you are good to go. As you can see, you are good to go. This is period 10, no, com uh, no going back. You can't compare with uh, uh, period two. Period two is for scalpers. But for this one, if you want to take clear of every entry, guys, without, this is why uh, I'm suggesting people to have the robot so that you can play with this one manually. Uh, after getting the right thing that pleases you, then you can set that one into robots. But I'm repeating things. For those people are playing, uh, we are uh, trading with our manual system or robot. Use this system if you don't want pressure, if you, you want to, uh, to milk money without uh, without fear. That is a clear setting and you are good to go. Play with the setting, play with it manually, set it in robots. And if you are satisfied, change it into robot and make sure and everything will be working. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, let's uh, uh, wait for the next video, which will cover the strategy three and four. For strategy one, and two, we are good to go now for the settings of the robot. We are good to go now. And welcome to TFX family. We love you and we adore you.